And that was a big mouthful to teach them a little bit about the homework and what it is to be a producer. I think um, a lot of times I've heard from other successful people that when they're doing their research, doing their homework, yeah. they find a mentor that's done what they've done already. Like you said, you would do it by listening to other people's music and trying to emulate that sound. But what if you're a business person, then maybe you need to find a mentor that's done your style of business, figure yes. out how they've accomplished that. Go call them, go talk to them. Don't be yeah. to pick up the phone and say, hey, my name is Joe Schmo. I saw you on such and such. I'd love to understand, maybe be an apprentice or figure out how you do what you do. I'd, I'd like to have your job, do what you do there. Could you show me or direct me to someone that would help me do that? I mean, the old days, man, apprenticeships were what they did in the Bible. Think about it. You had a yeah. trade, and then you followed somebody who did that trade until you could do the exactly. trade like them. And that's how you became that thing. But somewhere yes. along the way, we miss that mentorship, apprenticeship kind of uh, oh, yeah. atmosphere. And that's a big key thing to people who are trying to be successful, especially especially in specific things. When you have a right. trade or specific that you're going to learn something, you know, I think that's a missing one. So I definitely want to throw that in there. But you definitely, you did it without speaking to the person, but you, you were mentored by certain producers by listening to their stuff and trying to emulate that vibe. So you did it already. You, you got your thing going it was, on. It was, it was a long process. I mean, <laughs> you know, that, I mean, you know, people, people are like, well, you know, let me, let me, you know, try this out for a year, try this out for six months. Let me yeah. see if my, my, my dream could work. And I'm telling you, nah. you know, it's going to take years. It's going to take some years. time. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, when I, when I say that I've been in the music industry for, you know, almost 20 years or actually thinking of wanting to be in it for 20 years, realistically, probably only being in it, maybe 16, 17 years, right. actually getting a, a check or getting paid from it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It was really, it's only been eight or nine years since that, success started to really happen right, so right. you can think like it took 10 years to really mm -hmm. figure out how to get there right <laughs> the people, people don't want to do the grind they just want they the don't. instant microwave success put it in for 60 seconds you know and you know when, when, when it when it rises that fast it falls even faster <laughs> <laughs> talk so to him brother preach to him preach gravity you know it's just, it's just gonna happen so and I, yeah. I, you said something else too that i thought was cool and I, i've been listen to a lot of uh, success mentors and they always say you said find a good circle of people that you talk to and make yes. sure that make sure they're not yes people they're just gonna say oh yeah honey that's great oh yeah that's all you don't want them you want a, no. cer a solid circle of people that you can trust that's gonna give right. you good information that's gonna tell you the truth about something and you don't right. want that guy that's gonna always yes you that's yeah. we i call them the fluffers they're gonna right. always fluff you oh that was great boo i mean that's cool yeah. to have them folk but you need some right. honest people that can be like yo that was whack what are you doing? Yeah. What's that sound in the back? Get rid of that thing. Believe it or not, my wife is that person for me when I do music. <laughs> and, she's, and she's a musician in her own way. She plays the flute and a couple other things. But she's not like a musician like on a full-time thing, but she has a great right. ear, right? Yeah. So I'll make yeah. a track or something, get a production going. She'll come in and go, what's that little thing by the thing? I don't like that sound. I'm like, what are you talking about? And she'll pick it out, and I'll take it yeah. out, and she'll be dead on, man. I'm like, whoa. Or she'll yeah. tell me, she'll tell, yeah. me, she'll tell me, I don't like that. And, I, and she's so real that she's one of my main people I talk to. And you gotta exactly. have people, right? You need those people in your life and you'll realize that you hate when they tell you that. <laughs> but at the same time, they're usually so, like they're not coming from like a place of not wanting you to succeed. Right, they they're coming really out of love. Want, like those that are close to you, they really want you to get better. Right. And those that say, ah, just keep working at it or you missed the mark there. Yeah. Or you know, yeah, but you yeah. still need people that are like, you know that they're gonna rob you need cheerleaders yeah you need you, you, know, you need your fluffers you need your fluffers. You, you need you need both right? yeah you do you do and, and so you know you, you can have a whole team of people who just believe and believe and believe right. you have a whole bunch of people that are real yeah and it's like you need them both cool, but you man what, what you're gonna do because th those are the people who are gonna light the fire up under your butt and be like yes, sir yes, damn sir. Let me, how do i how do i really how do i really get to where i want to go and so yeah. you got to make some hard decisions yeah so, you know, after you've, you've identified what your possible is, you've got your fuel going, you know, you've, you've done your homework, talk about sometimes you're going to have to fail. That's a part of success. Yeah. People miss that whole side of success. That yeah. failure is a part of success. When, is it, yes. when was there a time that you failed and you realized, man, this, was, this helped me, you know? Oh, man, there's so many times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, like, when I was – when I – finished college I moved to LA to start I got signed to a guy who was working in movies wow and uh, so you started off the we, gate with some success though well it was it was random I <laughs> I, I was working with artists uh, I wouldn't say artists I was working with friends from back home mm -hmm. I was working with 
friends in my dorm and we are creating songs. Mm-hmm. I created a compilation of those songs mm-hmm. and I played them at our family reunion. Nice. One of my friend, one of my cousin's husband, my cousin's husband's best friend was a so and so by the so and so by the so and so. You see how it's just it's it's not it's it's close. It wasn't yeah. like I sent my demo out right then. Somebody hit me back said your you know your stuff is so incredible right. whatever. It was so close that you know he was starting a, a a movie production company, but he also wanted a record label to go with it. Mm. Now he didn't necessarily know what he knew film, but he didn't know music. Gotcha. And so I got there and he told me one of the things he told me said. You know, I want you to sign a contract for a year that you will stay in L.A., but I'm only going to uh, pay for your expenses to be here for six months. That was the first thing I had to say. OK, Dan, um, what am I going to do in those six months? <laughs> I a job. Um, and so um, by, you know, that money ran out faster than six months happened. Yeah. And he gave it to me all at once. Oh, he gave it to you all at once. They Oops. gave it to me all the time. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're 21, 22 years old, but you don't know how to budget. Um, and so oh, I had to learn wow. how to bring people into my into my apartment and start recording to bring in extra money. Mm-hmm. By the time I was 25, I had you know a little bit of clientele, mm-hmm. and I came back home from Christmas to 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 LA to you know get back start the new year, and I came back to a ransacked, vandalized. Uh, uh, you know, robbed apartment. What? That, you know, they took everything from me besides the first keyboard that my father bought me when I was 18 and what? some speakers. So I lost all the music. I lost all the ideas. Oh. I lost all the equipment. And oh. at right then, I was thinking to myself, maybe God, this is it. What I, what was meant for me? Maybe right. this is it. You'll have those moments where you're just like, well, is this not what you meant? What you meant to have had for me? And and Thinking about it now, from back then, God just said, "I want to put you in a different direction. Uh, I want I want you to trust me even more uh, because this thing that you want, you said you wanted to be great. So I'm going to test you, and I'm going to continuously test you to see if you really want that. Wow. Be- wow. People say people talk about paying dues, right? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. paid my dues. I paid my dues. You're always going to be paying dues. Yes, sir. And as soon as you want something more. You got to refinance those dudes. You got to keep paying those dudes. I like that, man. You know I like that. I'm so, going to use that later. Don't get me wrong. You're going to see it on the video. Refinance those dudes you got to pay because you don't sell better. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs>